I just want the, uh, the people of the city to see what this stream restoration is all about. I want you to look at what we're doing in this city and what the vision is, not only for ourselves, but for our children and our children's children. Because we are preserving something here that money can't buy, and this, to me, is what this city is all about. I'm Carol Jones with the Fayetteville Parks and Recreation Department and we are here at Sweetbriar Park which is located along Neokoska Creek in northeast Fayetteville. We have volunteers planting today and what we're planting is the stream restoration project that we completed in 2011 and then recently made repairs to in March of 2012. So we have volunteers here today planting, planting native shrubs, grasses and trees. This project uh, originally began as a stream restoration project because this creek was highly eroded and we had a severely cut bank. So we did a natural channel stream restoration design and part of that whole process is to do native plantings after the rock structures are constructed. So that's what this is for. We've got um, native plants and shrubs being planted and this will become a vegetated corridor, riparian corridor along Neokoska Creek. And Neokoska Creek uh, is a tributary to Mud Creek which is a tributary to the Illinois River. Hey, I'm Sandy Formica with the Watershed Conservation Resource Center and we're at the Sweet Briar Park stream restoration that was built a year ago in partnership with the City of Fayetteville. We're having a planting day today and we have lots of volunteers out here working really hard. Um, we've got a group of international students, there's, <laughs> there's 10, and uh, we've also got the Canoe Club, we've got um, Ozark Water Watch, of course we've got the City of Fayetteville. Uh, Fayetteville Natural Heritage here is here. Beaver Watershed Alliance is here. Cooperative Extension Service is here, and um, actually they're sponsoring the event along with the Illinois River Watershed Partnership is helping to sponsor. And we've got local citizens here. I live uh, just the other side of the uh, this edge of the street, uh, and I've been down here on numerous occasions through the last five six years. And when we have a, a flooding situation, we all get real nervous around here. Uh, the water level has come right up to people's yards. There's all sorts of things that come down here. And really, with this addition, with the little waterfalls and the terraced approach, this is going to make it worth its weight in gold. It's John Pennington, and I work for the University of Arkansas Cooperative Extension Service and I am working with the Watershed Conservation Resource Center to plant trees and shrubs and grasses along the stream restoration site here in Sweetbriar Park and in the water quality outreach and education game it's always fun to work with other players and to help support uh, common efforts so for this effort, I was glad to be able to help provide uh, plants that are going into the ground and to also help advertise and recruit volunteers. Uh, I'm Abdul Basfar. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm a volunteer here. I'm from Vietnam. Uh, this is my friend. We, uh, we, uh, we plant a tree um, near the Illinois River. and then also to get more people from the community involved so they could understand a little bit more about uh, the stream restoration process and also how important it is to have a healthy stands of vegetation on the stream banks. couple of signs that were put out. One was over there on the uh, trail by Skull Creek. Uh, one was put on the trail over at Mud Creek and they were the riparian signs. There's a native plant sign that's going to be here. And then there was just an importance of having open areas conserved within a city over at Sequoia Woods. 
And then that was all just made possible through uh, a 319 grant that I was working on dealing with water quality and best management practices. And native plants fit in that category because they don't require as much water or fertilizer or pesticides. They don't have the typical uh, disease issues that non-native plants do. I'm so pleased to get to live in a city that values integrated stream management and it adds ecosystem services beyond just erosion control. It adds value to the surrounding property owners. It adds value to downstream owners. It adds value to park visitors. And this, to me, is what this city is all about.